The Falklands, with its wild coastlines and magnificent wildlife, is a place filled with adventure. And last week, seven lucky individuals had the opportunity to experience the Falklands and all that it has to offer. After entering and winning the Falklands 40 Schools competition, a group of young people from across the UK made their way down to the islands. Throughout their seven day stay, they met with locals, enjoyed the wildlife and learned more about the island's history and culture. And one of the stops on the journey was a tour of Sea Lion Island. How are you finding it today, Sea Lion Island? Oh, it's really interesting. We've seen so many penguins and so many birds. I'm really excited for the rest of the day. And is this an environment that you've been in before? Or no, really, I'll be honest. Uh, I have been in a bit of nature, but like not like this. It's really nice. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit about what you've been seeing today? How has it been? So we saw some elephant seals over there and um, at the start we saw some penguins. And I think they're gen, gen 2 penguins. Yeah. And what do you think this sort of experience, how important is it for the um, students here today? I think it is really important because as much as they all read about and researched the Falkland Islands before they came, and a lot of them were really interested in the wildlife and the environment, actually seeing it is something else it's and then they can take that experience back to them with to the uk and they can hopefully write stories about it and convey it through their projects continuing on their journey the group also got a taste of falklands culture during their visit to goose green and saladero farm well it was a lot of fun they showed us how they would monitor the sheep with a chip in their ear and then after that, we had a barbecue and had some burgers and uh, lamb chops. Some of the students even had a go at sheep shearing. It was an interesting experience. Um, the sheep were a bit, you know, unsettled. But um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. A lot of the students have commented on how much they've enjoyed engaging with um, the kind of cultural aspects of the community. And I think it's another way in which we can get the young people interacting and talking to some of the folks who are working in these kinds of places and some of the young people as well. So I think it's a really important way if we can get the young people sharing some of these cultural aspects of life on the Falklands. It's a really important way to get them to understand and, and, into, and uh, kind of see things, I guess, from the, from the perspective of uh, young Falkland Islanders. I've really kind of really got to experience the kind of community and the trust that the people on this island clearly have with each other. Arriving here, I felt really welcomed, really comfortable. Everyone we've met on the island has been absolutely lovely. We've, we've been invited into people's homes, like, immediately, and I think that was really beautiful, and I really enjoyed that. My granny's from here, so I thought I should come down and see what it's like, see where she grew up and meet up with family who are still here. I've learned a lot more about the history of the Falklands, which I wouldn't have knew because my only connection was my family, but as well as that, I've met up with more of my family and I've just got to know what, a little bit more about what life is like here. I never dreamed of anything like this, so it's, yeah, it's been really special. And another special moment on the trip involved the students going to York Bay, where they tried their hand at kayaking, as well as a brief catch up with some aquatic companions along the way. So I've been kayaking before and I've enjoyed it, but I've never really gone out to proper city. So I think um, the guy that took us out was really helpful and patient because me and Amy kind of capsized a couple times and then we didn't really get the steering or the direction but after we did I think it was really enjoyable we got to do it with some dolphins and then once we were a bit tired me and Amy went on to the speedboat and then we were able to drive it. It was really interesting to hear the differences between like the UK government and how the governments run over in the Falklands I definitely think like the UK government could learn a lot from the way the islands are run um, with the MLAs who are kind of more community focused and then the governor who oversees everything. So yeah, I think that was really interesting to hear and I've really enjoyed going to those discussions and actually being able to ask questions to the people who uh, have a leadership role in the islands. I think probably the biggest memory will, um, I think I'll probably have to say the wildlife because I've never been so, I've never been so close to, to penguins, to seals, to dolphins. But I think also, I think, um, just, just how friendly everyone is because the people, all the other children who've come on the trip, we 
yeah, we've become really close and it's been really fun. But just people in general have been just so welcoming. I think what I'm going to be taking back with me is the skills I've learnt and also the friendships that I've made because the seven of us I think are quite close together and I hope we stay like that and possibly meet up in the future but obviously we are quite dotted around but I think I'm definitely gonna keep those memories but then also I'm looking into possibly getting a seasonal job here uh, after I finish my A-levels which means I can learn how to do some sharing, agricultural, which I wouldn't want as a job, but it's definitely an experience I do for like a year or a couple, maybe even a job. And I think also about this competition is, well, it was like, what was it, Forwards 40? Um, and I definitely think us coming here helps keep the British Overseas Territories alive and remembered by the younger generation because it's important to remember like the conflict of 1982 but also to look forward and what the like the territories can teach us back in back in mainland UK. I think myself and my colleagues Al Pinkerton and Katrina Pennell we felt that the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War was an interesting juncture to sort of reflect on the knowledge that young people have of the UK overseas territories and in particular the Falkland Islands. So when we heard that the tagline of the 40th anniversary was forwards at 40, we thought that actually engaging some of the younger generation in the UK um, in this competition, trying to get them to think a little bit about their relationships to overseas territories and the Falklands, the 40th anniversary in the competition would offer a really good platform for them to, to do that. I think we've also, amongst our students, we've got some budding scientists and, and folks who are interested perhaps in working in agriculture, in fisheries, and certainly I think it was to give them a little window of what life in the Falklands and what working in the Falklands might be like, because we've certainly got a few young people as a result of this week who are interested in coming back and perhaps experiencing a little bit more of the islands and also maybe um, doing internships or placements during their years between secondary school and, and university. So it's a real legacy that we weren't expecting, but it shows you, I think, the way that the young people have really, um, you know, found a home here in, in the Falklands. So it's been really lovely to see that. And after an action-packed week, the group truly got a feel for the Falklands. But while the students are set to return to the UK, it's more than likely that we'll see at least some of them again quite soon.